Lou Lou. Surprise. Tag you in. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Friday. Happy Friday. Pops home. All is good. All is well with moi. The pop is home. Hello, hello, welcome everybody. Hello, y'all coming in? You guys, like, so many is for Friday. A surprise. I figured maybe like one or two. Well, maybe one or two will show up. <laughs> yes, all went well. It was a beautiful drive-in. Way better than the one going there and coming back. That was, yeah, not fun. So, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. So, the project for today, boom, 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 is we're going to get that together. I've got my blocks. I got an idea what I'm doing <laughs> and we're going to make it happen. So the design wall is back for now until we figure out, uh, until we um, lay some drywall and then we'll do something else. So mm -hmm. good evening. Hello, Charlotte. Hello, Ginger and Allison and Suzanne and Pat and Helly and Suburban and Katie and Linda Lindsay and Tina. Oh my goodness, all of yous. And Deborah, hello, 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 hello. Say hi, because I, I missed you coming in before. We were, I was like, we were cutting it to the minute. So um, I just wanted to spend as much time with Pop as I could before he went to go lay down because I knew he was going to. So um, hello, hello, welcome, hello, don't fail, let me France. Cough, uh-oh, cough, cough, cough what? Yes, it was a very safe trip. Thank you, Pat Strawhouse, very safe. No problems at all, smooth sailing the whole way. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I, cause I didn't see you, that's why Marie France. You gotta say something now when I'm in front of the camera. I don't always get a chance to read the chat beforehand. <laughs> so most times I don't know who's here. So hello, welcome, 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 welcome. All three windows are done. It looks amazing. It's I have such a beautiful clear view. In fact, let me let me show you my view so you can see. Where, I'm gonna zoom in, but hold on. Let me take a picture on my phone. Un momento, because I haven't had a view out this window since I plastic covered it. So, and that was a long, long time ago. See if I can get even closer. There, okay, now hold on. Now let me, overhead. There, that's the view out that window. Isn't that purdy? It's so purdy. I loves it. Yep, yep, yep. So nice to see, and all the light, all the light it gives now that it's not uh, covered in plastic. Hello, Bettina, Mr. Mike, Charlotte Poe. Hello, hello, hello. Please see above it, L what? I can't, I, I can't. <laughs> How can I? What do I have to scroll with? No snow, it melted. We had nothing but rain and then wind, and a lot of wind, and it just kind of kerfluffed. So, yes. Yeah, indeed, indeed, very much so. Welcome, Ginger. Hello, hello. Welcome to the chat. Hello, Bettina. I think I said hello. I'm Laurie Clark. How are you? Glad you can relax now. Yes. And then as now it's, now and the next is the floors. The floors and the walls. So, but we can only do this one step at a time, right? We're not, we're not super duper people. Hi. Come say hi. There we go. Star of the show has finally showed up to work. Oh, sorry. There we go. Helps if you have it there. Hi there. Hi, Star. Hi, Star. Hi. I have um, a couple things to actually share with everybody today. I got a box that I bought some fabric. So I'm hoping it matches that two panel um, flower project. There you go, Sophie. Um, so here's hoping, here's hoping. Yeah, Sophie in the house. Uh, there we go, see, there you go, Mike. Sophie in the house. Hello, Sherry, how's it going? Since you're new here, Ginger, where are you from? Hmm? Where do you hang your hat, Ginger? Hello, Grace Clear. Cheers, everybody. Just water in my glass. Nothing excited. Headed to work. Just wanted to say hello. Well, hello, Sherry here. Say hello. We'll watch the replay later. Well, later, Gator. See you later, alligator. Mm -mm 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 -mm. In a while, crocodile. Mm -mm 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 -mm. See you soon, baboon. Boom, 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 boom. San Diego visiting here, uh, here in Ohio. Well, welcome. I heard Ohio has like a record uh, snow. Um, uh, amount going on so was that was that any of your doing <laughs> since you're from sunny san diego you just had to come up and see the snow you want all the snow <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm just kidding don't take it personally i'm just joking hello brenda hello crafty simple life hey hey hoping this will work having issues with my laptop uh oh that's not good 
lots of snow. I heard, I heard. Actually, I, I was, I, I watched the weather a lot, because uh, where we live, uh, where we moved to, uh, yeah, is Windy City. <laughs> but, uh, mm -hmm, yep, yep, we're, we're learning, we're learning. Hello, Miss Valerie. Hello, everybody from snowy Edmonton, Alberta. Our heat wave is over. Oh, did you have one? <laughs> did you have enough? Are you, are you doing the snippers? Snippers around the shop? What are you doing? Am I in your way? <laughs> hey, don't let me get in your way there, dog. <laughs> Darn it, didn't get the notification. Well, it was a little kind of, that's why I was trying to post on the two platforms, the YouTube and the Facebook, because I wasn't sure if we were going to get home in time to do a whole set the thumbnail up and everything. We just did. Like, it was only like a couple of minutes before stream started, so. So I was trying to time this right because I knew Pop would be extremely exhausted because he's been up since 4 o'clock in the morning his time. Um, so it's always a, a good afternoon to stream. We re remember on the, we were going to do it on the 20th. The last Friday we were going to stream. Last time I was away, it was a Friday. But Fiona decided to happen that day. So, nor did we get Pop. I, we couldn't stream either because <laughs> we had no power, no nothing. <laughs> Indeed. So, yeah, yeah. In Arkansas, it's 55, blue sky and sunny. Lovely. It's probably one or two Celsius, but it might have warmed up a little bit more than that. But it was minus nine this morning, though. It was, it was frosty when I left. No, no, actually, no, it wasn't too bad. It was frosty when I got up. It wasn't when I left, though. Welcome, everybody. Okay, so first uh, thing I'd like to show you. Move my, move my bucket. But tisky to tuck. Okay, so first off, this is what we're doing. Okay, let's 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 just do a refresh before I go any further. Okay, so peacock extraction is where I got this uh, project start from. We're actually doing this one on the back. Okay, but my version, I'm doing it my way. This gave me the inspiration to figure out what I wanted to do and how I want to get there. But I'm doing something a little bit different. So you'll see it. You'll see it a little bit different in the in the end. So, but you could do this one or that one with the the project. So, and it is by Peacock. Oh, sorry, Peacock Extraction by Violet Craft. Okay, and I got this. I'm I'm gonna say at least five. 2017. So, like five years ago. I'm sure I got and I I started it in. 2021 and uh i'm working on it ever since i'm trying to get it done so that's that's the, that's the plan man okay that's the plan okay mm -hmm. it is beautiful it's absolutely hello jenny what's going on travel days are tough well yeah especially when you're you got to get up so early at one place and then you get yourself to the airport and they want you there so much more but before the plane leaves and even though he's only a hop skipping and jumping away he's only in hamilton so i mean it is a province or two over and cross some water but you know it does, it does make it a little, you know, and then traveling and, tra and traveling is exhausting and I suffer anxiety with traveling like that too. So, but Pop has to do it for work. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't do it unless I absolutely have to. Um, I, man, I think I just gave up and sit back. Well, you saying hi to everybody? <laughs> I didn't realize everybody's going to be hanging out this afternoon. I love it. I love it. Having a few days of no rain. That would be nice. That would be nice. It's starting to, it's sunny and drying up here, which is good. Which is good. More than all, just woke up to a skiff of snow. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I think it's just, okay. Uh, hello, Trixie Provis, how you doing? Okay, all right, scoot, 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 scoot. Up on your bed, up, 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 up. All right, I wanna open this box. It's from um, Quilt Source Canada, and as a business, I can order from there. So I should have some interfacings, some stabilizers. Okay. Should have light, medium, and heavy. And at least one bolt of fabric, I think, or hope, will go with that uh, flower panel project. So, hold on. I'm trying to open her up. Watch your nose. Watch your nose and your toes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's one bolt. Oh, oh. What happened there? It went a little weird. Oopsies. We didn't bump anything. Okay, so that's one. Here, let me go overhead so you guys can see that. Or maybe split. Let's split. Let's split. Okay, there. Then I got some patterns and some needles. Okay, for stitchery for me. And these these are books that I, I if they if they're if they're on sale and I can find them cheap enough, I will buy them and I'll put them in the quilt shop so I have stock. So I've got some needles. Some sewing machine is hand needles. 
And I, I'm, I'm very stingy, so I don't like to pay full price for a fabric. So I always try to go to the sale or the clearance. So, and that usually I can try and get myself a good deal. So this is yellow star with an orange diamond. I don't know if you can see that. Can you size the little? Well, you see the orange diamond. I'm not sure if you can see the yellow star, but it's there. Okay. Oh, what's what's going on? Uh, I will let you know uh, Saturday, Donna Faye. Pop literally just got home. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Well, well. Oh, you're supposed to be laying down, my dear. Okay. So here's there's that one, and then uh, this one here. This should be my heavy weight stabilizer. Okay, nice Pelion bolt. Okay. okay, and then this is light stabilizer. Okay. It's more like a, a fabric, it feels like. This should be the medium. I wanted to get uh, one of each, so I had it here in stock. Right? And then I really liked this one. It's kind of like the same orange a bit. Actually, the orange and the triangle is a little bit darker. And then some uh, white, just plain white. Because I was using the last with today's project. Well, that's exactly that's exactly it, Lynn. I'm a very frugal. Gee, I only got so much to work with, and I tried to make get this money bang for my buck. So, uh, that's what was in the box. Okay. So, yay, some stuff for the shop. But I really wanted to. I don't know what. It, hold on, the panels here. Or at least part of the panel, part of one panel, anyways. So I'm hoping that a couple of those. I think the blue would go, and the yellow. I think we got a couple of colors to go with this this here. We just gotta need to make up a nice pattern. So Well, it's good quality fabric there, Mike. It's it's just they're they're just going out of line. Like this is uh um what Camelot? Camelot, what do we got here? Yeah, no Camelot, Camelot, Camelot. Sorry, they're all Camelot. Camelot fabrics. Yeah, so I think it's, it, we got a two, it's a, a two-part panel piece to this. It's a flower. Hold on. It's a really big in flower. It's huge. So this is one half. It's a small half, and then there's a bigger half to go along with it. And I'm trying, I was trying to get some fabrics to go with it that we could do some blocks to block it out a little bit more, make it like a nice wall hanging or like a picnic quilt or something like that. And then, uh, and then sell it as a, a little kit. So, yeah. So, yeah, it's, um, it, it is a pretty bold panel. That's why I thought maybe having some of the muted tones of that would be okay. So, we'll see. I'll have to lay it all out and take some pictures and see if it's going to read all right. Read all right. Yes. So, yay, I'm glad it came. It came yesterday, but it was so rainy and so bad. I, and then Pop, uh, I asked Pop's help to bring it out to the shop, so... Yay! I really like that. That's so pretty. It's a pity. I love a good polka dot. Alright, let's get that out of the way. Okay. Then, my sister Elizabeth, who lives in Calgary, sent me a big box full of clothes. She, she dresses me well. And, um,. Yeah, I'm hoping it'll be my first kit I try and sell, Tracy W. I'll let you know. So she sent me this and a few other things. Stitch in time. It's got little spools on it. Isn't that cute? Mini, mini. Little, little springs. So she sent me that. And then, come on, she sent me this too. With a bunch of clothes. Side by side or miles apart, sisters are always connected by heart. And I kind of feel that way with you guys because you are like my sisters from another misters and my brothers from another mother that you're family you know what I mean so yeah kind of I brought that out here because I feel that way about you guys I know it's goofy it's just the way I am <laughs> <laughs> yeah 
Yeah, isn't it cute? So, yeah. And, and if you're curious, she sent me a stack of photos I have not been through yet, but there's a couple of me when I was a kid that I can see. Do you, do you want to see a couple of me when I was a kid? <laughs> you know, you don't have, I don't want to put you through torture of photo time reminiscing with Laura Lynn or whatever, but, you know, so. <laughs> I hate you, are my brother from another mother, Mike. <laughs> Definitely you do. Okay, I didn't want to torture you. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me take it. I just was unwrapping a couple pot. I'm like, oh, I better unwrap these. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Okay, well here, here's one of me as a kid. Hold on, we'll go over right here. Hold on. <laughs> what a little dork. Oh, what is it? I don't even know. It doesn't even say what year it is. Did I look cute? Look at me and my cute little auburn hair. I did have auburn hair once. Really, I did. Really, I did. Okay, so there's that one. And here is Marcus and I. When Marcus is really young. Oh, hold on. There we go. See? That's young Marcus with Winnie the Pooh jacket. Hey, welcome, Barb McKay. Okay, hold on. Uh, and, oh, there's, there's our Zeba. There's our Zebasaurus and Marcus and me, my pant legs in the back. We lived in the States then. We were playing ball in the, the kitchen. I won't show you all, but hold on. Let me just, oh, oh, here, here's a good one. Papa and I's wedding day. Don't we look cute? We look so cute. That's Kent's sister way on the, um, well, obviously on the other end. Not, not the other end. Not where my thumb is. <laughs> that's, that's Kent's sister. Okay, hold on. All right, let me, uh, let me just, oops. Hold on, let's go back in here. Don't wanna, don't wanna bore ya. <clears throat> trying to find a, there's a couple of my mom in here. I'm trying to find a good one so you can compare. Oh, we were on, I think this was when Pop and I got engaged. We were heading over to Victoria Island to visit my mom's aunt who was living. Let me tell you, this woman was, what, 65? No, she must have been close to 70, and she was living with a 23-year-old, uh, 26-year-old. <laughs> that was my mom's aunt. But there's me and my mom. That was way, that was like way, 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 way long ago. Me and my mom. So cute. Hi, Krista. Sorry, I got some photos of me when I was a kid from my sister Elizabeth. There's, there's me as a kid, too. She was a very pretty lady. Does it say on the end here? Um, age, no, I don't know. Age six. And this one says three or four. I don't know. So, I don't know. Um, it, it was it was an awesome it was an awesome adventure. Hold on, let me go back to the main here so I can I'm just try and find them. Got a lot of our dog Zeba. Such such a, I don't even recognize myself. It's like who's that person? Oh oh oh. Hmm. Oh oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Here's. There's, uh, over here. There's me with Munchkin Oops. shortly after he was born. And then Munchkin himself, obviously himself. So. He had that new baby smell. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, new mom. I'm so excited. So excited. Hello, Munchkin. So there's my mom and Ian. Hold on. It's a long time ago. Oh, oh, here's a good one to pop. Okay, there's, there's my mom and Ian, uh, uh, Kent's dad. They were obviously helping with the barbecue. So, there's Kent's dad and my mom hanging out. And there's, there's old, my mom, Kent, 94. There we go, 6 94 That's when that was. Oh, 
I was five. I was five when we, I started to sew. Oh my gosh, what's this one? Boy, when I was a kid. Oh boy. Oh boy, pictures, pictures. Anyways, yeah, that's the cutest. I love that one. That's my favorite. <laughs> How heavy? He was 7-Eleven. Uh, I always thought it was funny because he was like the grocery store or the convenience store. 7-Eleven. <laughs> mm. I, I have a few pictures, other pictures too. Uh, I want to get out. Oh, here. Oh my gosh. Bunch of sappy saps. There you go. That's us on the ferry in 94. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, mostly trouble you were, your mom told me. Hey, wait a second here. You, you, nope. Nope, nope. <laughs> you can't blame me. <laughs> All right, so that's, uh, you got some kid photos of me. <laughs> yeah, and then, uh, and then this. A little stitch in time. So cute from my sister Elizabeth. And then this one, like I said, I feel like that with you guys. Very connected, you know. Sisters from another mister and brothers from another mother. She's in trouble. I thank you. I think. <laughs> I'm not sure how I should take that. <laughs> no, I didn't name him convenience, no. <laughs> okay, what I need to do though is pull up the picture I took of this and the layout on my phone so I can see where the next pieces go. Because we've already started, as you can see beside me. Ooh, right there. Looks good. Hello, Miss Sylvia. How's it going, Miss Sylvia? All right, I just gotta scan to find it and pop it back up on there. Okay, there we go. So that is the picture I took, and that is the lay I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna take a purple from either end of here or there. I don't know. I'm doing I'm doing something different with the bottoms of the purple, but it is gonna come down to like a point but with white too. I have white fabric. So I have some of the fabric I used on the project and some of the, uh, some white to kind of fill in. So I'm doing the best I can with what I got. So cheers everybody. Okay, so enough about me. What's going on with you guys? <laughs> what I know, I was so happy to see them. I was so happy to see them. And they were all tucked in the package and I was like, oh, because she sent me lots of clothes, like lots of clothes. I was like, I hope some of these fit. Does she know what size I am? <laughs> Picking up lunch and then heading home to watch and eat. Very nice. What are you grabbing there, Miss Lois? What you grabbing? Uh-oh. Somebody wants some loving. Miss Lovey, Lovey, Lofi wants some loving. Hold on. What do I got? I got something for you. I got something for you. Little Lofi, a cute little puppy. <laughs> well, if you don't want it, there you go. Okay, you don't have to jump. I was giving it to you. Don't be Lofi, exactly. Don't be. All right, go on, go on. lay down, go relax, go relax, go relax. Mm, Chinese food. Oh, is that what you have? Chinese. Oh, I, I, I went and grabbed that last night for Munchkin and I. So. I wanted it, so I got it. it. It was a really good chicken fried rice, way better than last time, or at least to me, it, it tasted really good. Okay, so I got, hold on, I got my yellow, my red, and my orange. So I need an orange, orange, red, yellow, green, blue. So orange, orange, red, yellow. Okay, and I'm not thinking about what of a light or dark tone I'm putting up there because peacocks are just, Cray cray. So I'm just, I'm just picking. I'm, if I don't like it, I can seam rip it out. So I don't want to put too, too much thought in it because I really want it to represent nature in a way of color transition. So I don't know if that's going to make any sense to you, but it makes sense to me. It's okay. So we'll go like this and like this. And then we need a red, a yellow, a green, and a blue. Red, a yellow, a green, and a blue. Red and a yellow and a green and a blue. Red. Yellow. Green. And a blue. Okay, and then at the top of this month, we need a triangle. Yes, they are. They're very opinionated. Uh, how are you liking your newest? They are fabulous, Miss Kathy. 
Thank you for asking. <laughs> it's actually really holding the heat much better. The heater's not going off and on, as, or going on as much and off, obviously. So it's nice enough to have that uh, background chaotic noise all the time. So we are, it's at, the, it's at the end of the scale of switching the heating to something different, but uh, the floors are next. There, those no fan, no fans about about it. Um, trust me, Allison's been here, Miss Gwenny's been here. They know we need to put new floors in, so because um, it's not very welcoming, you know what I mean. So, and it would be nice to have something nice and even and consistent. It would look very, very nice, and obviously step this place up and obviously give an extra layer of insulation towards the floor too, right? So, so yes, very much happy with it. Hey, Gazella, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hello, Barb Mc, uh, McKinley, how you doing? Mmm, tried making some flying geese today, never tried them before. Had some leftover strips from a uh, Pessy, Pessy project. Mmm, a lot of work. The flying geese are a lot of work. I don't, I don't find, find flying geese a lot of work. There's, I got a couple videos out there that they're really easy to do. But if you're working with specific pieces, smaller pieces and not like a bigger chunk, then I can understand the, the fussiness of them. Like trying to get that nice point across too, you know, is very, you need it, right? Mm. Oh, Miss Wendy Kay. Uh, you're not here? Okay. Shh, nobody tell. Hello, Miss Heather White. Hello, hello. Glad to see everybody today. <laughs> she, yeah, she's in stealth mode. I saw that too. So now I'm going to lay, I'm going to sew these blocks. Uh, I, I thought it was going to have a little bit more trouble getting them the way I wanted them to go because they're diamonds and sometimes I kind of struggle with diamonds, but it went really well actually. So I was like, okay, all right. Making them easy squaring up is another story. That's, that's, well, yeah, that's true. And then making them look still like you, uh, uh, flying go a goose in the end, right? So, all right, so we're going to do this. Going to lay this side over, hold on, this overhead. So, high laid them out, okay? Actually, just grab my triangle first. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. I did cut a bunch, but I also think I may have to cut some more, and that's okay. So we'll put our triangle up here first. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna flip. Oh, that's not, that's not the one I want. It must be extra. Oh. There, there we go. I was like, we need point points, buddy. Point points, okay, there we go. That's the right one. So we take that and we're just gonna pin it so it just, it sits nice and purdy in the center there, okay. And then we'll take this one and we're going to lay it right like that. And we're going to line up those little corners. Okay. And you're like, it seems so weird to flip it that way, but it really does. It, it works. It works. Okay. And then down there and then we'll just sew. Hello, Samantha Jenkins. Hi. Uh oh, good evening from Aberdeen, Scotland. While preparing to take youngest boys one youngest son to Boys Brigade uh, will be taking you with me on the road trip there. And back. Well, very nice. Everybody tuck in, bring a snack. We're going on a road trip. We're going on a road trip. We're going on a road trip in Samantha's pocket. You got snacks in there? I get a little package on a road trip, just telling you. <laughs> I get the rumblies in the tummy. <laughs> You're baking cookies. Nice. I would take that. Mm, I missed how many peacock feathers you made. Okay, so I made 72, though the project is 75. But the reason why I only made 72 is because... Oh, am I in the color way? Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh un momento, por favor. Uh, yes, okay, yellow. Um, hold on, where was I? Oh, oh, because of the design I had in my head to begin with, with the blocks, okay? Brownies? Who's got brownies? Baking cookies, it could smell good. I wish I could share them with you all, hubby. May have something else to say about that. Uh, yeah, I know, I usually get that look too there, Miss Gwenny, when I'm making cookies for other people. It happened a lot more before <laughs> than it does now, I assure you. <laughs> Actually, I, the, what is, is I think it's the, Preppy cook, preppy, ki preppy kitchen. He just put out one of a Texas sheet cake kind of, but it looks like a brownie. 
I liked it except when he put the pecans on top, but I thought, you know what, I could just toast up sunflower seeds and, uh, and pumpkin seeds and chop them up if I want to, right? So to give it that little crunch. Cause he says the cake is so soft, you kind of need the crunch in the icing. So, but anyway, it was, it seemed really good. Mm -hmm. Hey Ellen, we got distracted and just noticed you were like, yes, yes, Miss Tracy Albert. We're trying to put this beautiful peacock thing together. So, but I'm just actually, you know, I'm gonna, just gonna sew these guys and then we'll go from there, okay? So that's a matter of, I'm gonna sew. This girl's assembling half square triangle blocks. Uh, I have four rows done on the New Year's Mystery uh, Quilt Project. Oh, interesting. Very nice. I watched some of your uh, podcast, uh, po well, I, I kind of like think it's a podcast, but it's not. Um, your, your channel this morning, I was, I was waiting to go get pop there. I, was, I didn't get it finished though. I didn't get to finish it. I will after though. But I, I love, I, <laughs> I loved all your uh, your little stitcheries from when you were young and stuff. That was awesome. I love, I love, I love that you shared that. And your old McDonald um, had a farm cross stitch is amazing. That's amazing. I like the little quilts that were in the corners of the cross stitch. So I'm like, ooh, how inspiring for a quilt. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, I'm going to make one of those. That looks really cute <laughs> in those colors. <laughs> Take inspiration from wherever you can get it, right? Uh, I finished making a table runner. Just finished making a video on attaching the binding this morning. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, where's my water? Yeah, cheers, everybody. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sandra. Uh, only because Miss Ellie's saying hi that I, I missed you coming in there, Sandra. So, hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm. She is. She is. She is. All right. So, did I get the one done? I did. Okay. Let's get the two done. And I'm going a little slower because that's a lot of layers. Hold on. Let's go here. Okay. It's a lot of layers going on here. Everybody's having a good day. I was glad Pop's flight was not only on time, it was actually early. So, And he said they left 35 minutes late because of, they had to take big chunks of ice off the plane because uh, uh, Ontario, where, where he was, the lower part of Ontario, had a lot of snow come the other day. So, and I'm sure it's uh, it's icy and dim dare clouds. Hello, Deborah Davidson. I'm glad I didn't miss, no, you didn't, yeah, yeah, you hit with a party. Now, oh, this will be a second time I incorporate a cross stitch in. Very, I would like to see how you do that. Um, Miss Tracy Albert is, oh, I feel like I've got something weirdly folded here, um, is doing the, our, our Tuesday cross stitch, sorry, the Tuesday cross stitch project, the Dear Winter Girl. She's putting it into a quilt project for her friend. So she's stitching it up too. It's a free pattern. If you want to come hang out with us and stitch with us on Tuesday, 11 a.m. Eastern. Hello, Paula. Welcome, welcome. Hello, BC Tracy. Just blame it on your moms. <laughs> for, for what? Uh, on our moms? Okay. <laughs> I'm getting inspired by procrastinating on my projects. I love getting inspired. <laughs> I like being ex uh, inspired by just like things you just never thought, you know, you just, they're surprised. They're surprised to you. Like a uh, wall tile in a hotel or a restaurant or something like that. Just the strange. Usually, carpets in hotels are very inspiring sometimes. So, okay, all right, here we go. Well, I guess it goes that way. Okay, see what we'll hold it up, and then we're just gonna add the blue and a green. I uh, sorry, a green and a blue. And I'll show you overhead how it's looking on the seams. Okay. 
lining up the best I can. This one, flip it, and I did try to peel as much as the paper off as I could. It's only going to be a wall hanging, so nobody's going to be cuddling with this, I assure you. <laughs> uh, he's got his uh, Facebook, do you put him up on your Facebook page, Mike, or do you just post him in Sass's uh, Facebook group? It's, hold on, Create, Imagine, Enjoy Facebook group. Uh, it's run by Miss Sasselet. Um, she's got a couple of our little peoples in there that also joined the Zoom, too. If you want to join the Zoom, you have to hop into that that uh, that chat channel. Oops, I missed a bunch. Whoa, 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 not a bunch, but some. Okay. Oh, I know why. Because some, for some reason, I sewed there. Mmm. -hmm. I was talking to Bastion on Messenger the other day. He's very good at it. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, all of the Tracy's in chats. <laughs> hey, I'll take them. I'll take them all. I'll take all the Tracy's. I think I thought if I could keep my points uh, straight and if, depending on how long it was going to take me to get through this project <laughs> might as well stitch around the bottom yeah but that was a silly mistake don't do that <laughs> and way more work for yourself oh Miss Joanne West almost forgot what what well I'm glad you're here how's Natalie J today how you doing hello Donna Bogart how you doing sneaking in here Repin. Hello, Alexandra. How's it going? Okay, no, that's off. Sorry, cue the heater. I can't help it. Just me. I can't wait until it warms up that I don't have to hear it. And I don't have to pay for it. <laughs> Not only is it electricity, it's also propane. Are they coming over Sunday? It's been three weeks and seeing him, I'm so much looking forward to get, oh, I bet, I bet. Yeah, but he's even grown so much in three weeks there, Miss Ellie. Three weeks doesn't seem like a very long time, but in, in baby times, when they're just getting into toddlerhood and walking around and, he's walking around, isn't he? Or is he just pulling himself up still? Weebling and wobbling. Some take a little bit longer than others. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. A lot of teeth? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it does. You can tell, right, Lori? Yeah, it comes on less often. And getting the floors done that with insulation and then, you know, proper flooring is going to help with that too, right? So. They were just boards and with some sort of... Uh, bubble gray or silver wrap underneath of it and that was it before and then I got it all spray foam so that helped from underneath and then now we need to take care of the top part so right so it's, it's all in steps we just have to be able to do it all uh, have you thought about how you are going to quilt this beauty when it's done Ella, or are you or are you not no I'm gonna quilt it I, you know what so that's funny you ask that because I said to pop Actually, let me let me get a couple more pieces on, and then I'll show you. Cause I, I thought, I wouldn't mind it as being curtain. Put a white backing behind it, and then it would look like stained glass over the window. But it wouldn't be the whole quilt top. But it could go when I get the garage doors done in a year or two or three or five or whatever. Two French doors, it would be lovely to hang there. So it's it's for future. So I may I may hold off quilting it for a little bit to making sure I really want that decision of having it like look like a stained glass sort of thing. So I don't know. I don't know what your thoughts. What's your thoughts? All right, now we're gonna press these. Okay. Mm, yeah, have a lovely visit. Exactly. 
fantastic time. It's too bad your package wasn't there. There's, there's at least one or two little things in there for him. <laughs> I should check and see if it's actually even left Montreal. Finished laying ring pinning a uh, six panels for the oh one black wonder very nice very nice that sounds great that sounds great that's yeah you like it i just you know because there's no rush there's no i got the top done right so i just it's so much color it really is just so much color right so, but it turned out amazing it turned out amazing linda Lindsay. i'm super happy with it okay so this will go like that so i'll need my purple for here and then the end Okay. Purple and an end, which is one of these. Okay, so I'm going to go here, 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 and here. Is that what it goes? No, it's at the bottom. Design of quilting is the toughest decision to make. Uh, hands down. Hands down, for sure. I agree with you there, buddy. It's like, oh, well, the quilt kind of sorts itself out because you picked what you like, so you're going for it, right? So you are taking your fabrics, you're cutting it, you're making it. You know your decision's already made. But when it comes to being done, you just kind of look at it and go, hmm. <laughs> Do I want all these sew lines highlighted? Do I want uh, overall quilted to death do i want just light little circles or loops or you know whatever right hello candles how you doing welcome welcome how's it going oh sir journey welcome welcome happy friday They look really nice, don't they, Natalie? I'm really quite happy with the way it's... it's it was a, a labor of love, I kid you not. And I don't want to, you know, say, oh, it's so easy, don't worry about it, you know, it's so, it's so, it's so fine. No, it's actually a lot of work. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> it's time-consuming. And you have to dedicate yourself to it. It's the reality of it, right? You know, let's not kid ourselves here. If you're in, you're in for the long haul, but you got to make sure you're in for doing the work too, right? So... And sometimes that's the hardest part is one, motivating yourself to do the work or two, getting the time to do the work. I mean, you can always have the time. You just have to set it. <laughs> but it's so pretty. <laughs> I know, but, but one, one or done. One or done. Press this and then we'll take the one off the wall, line it up, pin it up, sew it. Work the next row. Yeah, literally, labor of love, for sure. Like, we don't go into it because, you know, we're just bored and looking for something to do, right? You know, that's what, you know, walking the beach is for. When you take on a craft or an art or something, so you have, a, you have a, a true passion. Like it's a true passion to make something pretty to you. Doesn't necessarily have to be pretty to anybody else, right? As long as it's pretty to you or satisfying to you or, you know, makes you happy. That is all that matters. All right, right. now take this and this. Hopefully I got all my pieces laid out right do, 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 do. yes I did yes I did okay so when it came to these long seams okay it was a little bit more finicky on the pinning but that's just because I want to make sure I'm doing the best I can right 
juice of some water, people. I'm running out, actually. I'm going to get me some more. From the endless jug. Oh, and I just ordered, oh, hold on. Just ordered small labels from my own made things. Oh, nice. Just saying made by Hilly. Fantastic. That is beautiful. Perfect. Perfect. That's going to be amazing. I can't wait to see. Can't wait to get one of your labels. <laughs> Don't be so sassy, right? <laughs> hey, Lily. Welcome, welcome. Just found this channel. I love this quilt you're working on. Is there Yes, there is, my dear. It's not free, unfortunately, but it is something you can find. Do 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 be do be do be do boop boop, right there. Okay, it's Peacock Extractions, abstraction. Sorry, and I'm doing a version of this down here. I'm doing my version of it. Okay, it had all that beautiful color, so I'm like, and I love a good rainbow. And I had a nice big box of rainbow color to play with. So that's what we're doing. Okay. It is a foundation paper piecing. It's going to take some time, but you can do it. Okay. So you see where these seams are here? Hold on. Where's my, where's my, where's my poker tool? You know how it comes down here? See? This one right here. And then this one right here. You want to make sure they're kind of just crossing each other. Okay, all right, so let, let's line her up. Let's do the bottom first, all right? Do the bottom and the top, line her up. Make sure we got some got something stable to work with on one end, okay? And then this, because it was the final piece, we're gonna make sure it lines up right there with that seam, because that's the seam that comes down. So right here to here, we're gonna, first rip out that little piece of paper. Uh, we're gonna cross it, so it's like doing this, well, it's actually doing this. Okay, so it's going to do this a little bit, okay. And if you're unsure of that, you can kind of feel it with your fingers. You can wiggle it, woggle it back and forth. Put a pin in sideways, like I am here, like as to do like a faux quarter inch seam allowance sort of thing. Get a couple, get a couple done. Okay, let's do another one down here where the green and the blue are meeting. So it's this seam right here meeting with this seam right here, okay. So we just want to kind of cross them over just a little bit, okay? And like I say, do like a little faux, faux seam with the pin, and then you can flip it over. And then if you like where things are going, which it looks like it's lining up pretty good, then you just keep on sewing, okay? So that's how you just want to do it. Make sure they're doing a little crisscross to make you jump, jump. Kidding, it won't. <laughs> All right. Make sure you just got the, the right, the, the key is just making sure you got the right seams, right? Because there's so many going this way and so many going that way, right? Hello, Nina. Hello, Quilty friends. I have been in and out today. Already lost power twice. Uh oh, we lost some yesterday, a couple times, Marcus said. Um, want, waiting for the big storm to hit us. The next week, sub-zero temps. Oh my goodness, Nina, where's, where, where, where are you? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, it's not that I didn't like the way it, it, it was there, Campbell's. I just, I had, I was, I had like an old, my own idea in my head. I'm thinking, oh, well, I like this. I think I can make it like this like a, I, I didn't see why i couldn't i just had to western montana oh boy oh boy 18 inches ah two feet my goodness uh yeah that's a lot i just i wanted to and it's not that i didn't like her pattern i really did that's what inspired me to think of my own like i just wanted it insert because they had grays and and blacks like tones of blacks and grays and stuff as as their blocks too i just wanted complete color i just wanted 100 percent just color the only neutral tones that i want is in the feathers itself the barbs the barbs right so that was the only uh black and white that i wanted the rest i wanted as much color as as possible to 
express the, the beauty of the peacock. That is a lot of no. <laughs> so, all right, now we're pinning all the way up to the triangle to the top. Okay. And these sides are gonna be flexible because you got all those little seams there. So just, just be gentle, okay? And now we're gonna sew this big long seam, okay? This seems like it's a little off. I just wanna make sure it, I did get the right seams I was lining up. Yes, I did. Oh, I know why. Okay, look, it's I, I, I sewed it too shy on there, so now I have to fix that one. Can you see that there? I was wondering why it was a little bit too loose. I got a little bit of a split seam. Okay, so I need to fix that first, which we can do. Yeah, I just came too shy. Too shy, too shy, hush, hush, I do All right, so we'll just rip it back just a smidge and then re-sew. All right, so we can get a nice solid uh, edge. Okay. We don't want no little tiny hole peeking through there. That adds a weakness to the quilt. So we don't want that. Okay. So we fix KK. We fix. Oh, Katie, welcome. Well, I guess Alberta is right above Montana. So right, Krista, right? Could be, could be the same, same, same things heading your way. Batting down the hatches. Go, I fix that. You sing the song with me. Seam ripper, seam ripper, you're my best friend. Seam ripper, seam ripper, right to the very end. Exactly. Tis the savior of mistake sores. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Oh. Cheers, everybody. Why? Thank you, Anonymous. Thank you so much. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Thank you, thank you. Okay, piano keyboard for the first time? Is it like a real piano or like just the straight colors? I like both. I like both. The only way, I, the reason why I ask is about the piano because I actually made a, like literally a piano keyboard border. And I could show you if you wanted because I know where it is over there. Oh, remind me before I end the stream to show you the mystery quilt. The mystery, uh, it came with a mystery story and a quilt. I never read the story, but I made the quilt top. And, it, and, I, and I can get to it, but if only if you guys want to see it. Yes, it was very nice of you, Anonymous. Okay, so we're all good there, because that was looking, that was looking a little too loopy boopy there. When I started to sew, that's why I was like, okay, there's gotta be a problem here. Either I've got it on the wrong seam, or my one of my seams is getting a little wonked. So let's go back, we fixed it, we're good. I'm doing the same as you did for Tyson's quilt, the dueling piano. Oh, very nice. Very nice, Tracy Albert. It was one of my favorites. Absolutely one of my favorites. And it just, it pulled it all together, that whole project, right? So. Greetings from Sharonville, Ohio. How's the snow, Pat? <laughs> Ginger says you're getting a lot. <laughs> Ginger's not happy. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Ginger probably left the chat. Oh, hey, Samantha Jenkins. Big things up to you, too. Thank you very much. That was lovely. Fresh cup of joe makes my, uh, make my late mor uh, makes my late morning. <laughs> I'm working on a quilt where I need some large letters. What would you recommend for me to use? Um, well, you could... What do you mean? Like, okay, what do you mean? Hold on. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I guess, do you need to make your own large letters? Then I would pick a font, print it up to the size you need it, print off those pieces of paper, and then use that as your trace out for your stabilizer to put down on your foundation paper piecing or whatever. Not paper piecing, but your, um, you know, applique or something like that. Um, I, I don't, I mean, maybe a little bit more explanation. It's almost all gone now. Oh, wow. Very nice. I heard you guys got a lot, like, record amount. I was like, oh, no. Pat's like, why did I move here from Florida? <laughs> I want to go back. It's like the first, first winter, Ohio gets, like, this massive dump of snow. <laughs> Yeah, that'll work. Okay, okay. Well, you, make sure you pick a font that you like and is easy enough to cut out and trace out, right? 
And then I would put that onto, I'd trace that out onto um, the heat and bond. And then I would heat and bond that to the fabric I wanted, obviously to the back side, and then cut it out and then just applique, zigzag, blanket stitch, whatever, all, all the way around. And then, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, well, or, or, yeah, but that's what you can deal with that when it comes to the heat and bond paper, right? You can flip it over. So, yes, yes, exactly. Or it might be easier to hit the, if you can, can you hit reverse on your printers? Can you reverse on your own printers? You must be able to. That's a good point though, Lynn. Very good point. Top tip today from Lynn Bylas. <laughs> Yes, definitely sorry. To love. I'm sorry. I'd offer you a place here, but we're not any better than Ohio. So, even though today is lovely and sunny and the grass is green and the trees are bare, but and we know that we're in for a heck of a lot more snow and negative temperatures, but I'll take one day at a time. This will be beautiful. Yeah, well, yeah, there's so many different fonts out there, like even just on Word itself. But then you, know, you can actually go searching for free fonts. And it's, it is, there's, it's green in lots of spots there, there, Gwenny. Really, it is. Yeah. Bring up the letters in a Word document and then flip them. Okay, okay. Oh, see, it is possible, right? Okay, thanks, Krista. It is, it's green grass. Greeny brown grass, but you know, still, it, it, ain't, it ain't dead yet. It doesn't wanna go. <laughs> no worries, Sylvia. <laughs> no worries. I popped into other people's chats and under my other one and like LLF and they're like, who are you? I'm like, oops. <laughs> Now, make sure all our pins are out and give her a press. Been snowing off and on since Tuesday night, Ottawa, Ontario, 13 so far, and more expected. Yeah, Bob said it was snowing when he left. It was snowing when his plane took off. They, like they had to de-ice the plane and stuff before he could uh, get on it. <coughs> Sorry, just tickle. I do have a hauls if I need it. How's, how's everybody today? Could say our grass is green too, but I cannot prove it. This <laughs> is buried under a foot of snow. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> uh, from our, oh, for Ontario? Yeah, I, it was a little, I was looking at it too, hence why I was really watching the weather report. I really, when he's away, and then when he said, when I said, hey, you're in for some snow, he goes, yeah, I hear. And then he goes, and you're in for wind and rain. I go, yep. <laughs> so we watch each other to make sure we're, we're okay. We had two days of no power or heat. Oh my gosh, glad to have, I know those are the things you're like, whoo, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. We finally have winter. Yeah, let's well, kind of come and then left. So I don't know what's going on. All right, let's give this a press. First, let's see if I'm happy with all my seams. No. No. Okay. I will show you why. It's a no. Okay. I'm not happy with two of them. Two of them I'm going to move. Okay. So those are the two I'm moving. Can you see them? Hold on. No, you can't. Okay. This one right here. It's about a quarter off. There you go, you see? So that one and that one, it's more prominent, you can see more prominent that one, I think, are a little off. But the other ones, 
are bang on. Oh, 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 what do we got there? Oh, it's just a tail. Tail got caught. Okay, we gotta fix that. Okay. We fix. So fix fix those two little spots. I just want them to be a little bit better. Just a little bit better. I know I can do better, so I will do better. Right. Airs to run. Okay, have a good one. Okay, first we need to get that little tail out. He's all sewing in there. And tuck him back in. Make sure he doesn't come back again. Okay. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> the drone will be back. There. Okay, take care, Grace. Drive safe. Wherever you're going. Mm -hmm. Oh, you hurt your knee, Sylvia. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. Okay, which ones I didn't like? It was the uh, uh, pink and the yellow. Okay, let's do it on this end so we can see. <clears throat> Thank you, and Gondra has given me more sewing projects. Of course she has. <laughs> I like your little tote bag. That, that was really cute. I really like that one. So I'm gonna rip it about an inch past on either way. So that gives me a little bit more flexibility when sewing, when I try to get pinned a bit better to, to kind of, you know, tug or pull or what have you, either direction to get it to sit a little bit better. Okay. That way it doesn't look like one side's too bunched just because you were trying to line it up. So if you give yourself a little bit extra to work with, it becomes an easier project. Okay, so in here, um, taking that out. Our lower back isn't getting any better, so I have an appointment with the physiotherapist on Tuesday. I was going to ask because I thought you were going to call on Monday um, to see see if you can get uh, for your doctor. So. Okay, all right, now let's try and repin those just a little bit better. Okay. Got it good on the other ones. We can, we can do it good here too. Cross them over. Do a little faux pin. Okay. Sophie's doing circles on her bed. <laughs> round and around and around she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. Patchwork jacket, then she wants uh, dun dunderies and a dress. <laughs> Tool skirt for her dad. Oh my goodness. Actually, I want um, the artist who's, who is uh, doing Papa and I's little figures on YouTube, Chris, not much. He, his little girl is so adorable. Um, I want to make her a little couple of tool princess little things that she can slip on over her regular clothes and, the, and doesn't always have to wear like a princess dress to feel princessy, right? So I was like, oh, I need to, I need to head to the fabric store, see if I can find some pretty tool. So these, and if they're better, great. If they're worse, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> I know. Something got stuck. I can't find the name for it. Oh, okay. Something got stuck. Okay, a little better. This one didn't seem to change very much. Okay, we're just leaving it as is. You know, I gave her a shot. She doesn't want to cooperate. That's it, we're moving on. <laughs> Go. 
And just think how, hold on, let me go over here so you can see how, think how pretty this would look in front of a window. That'd be so pretty. That little light shining through and stuff. I think, I think, I don't know. I think it would look lovely. Absolutely lovely. The transitor gets this. Sai ga, hold on. Sai ga pop. He seal joint, pop seal joint. You pop the seal joint, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. I'm home, aka my son's house. I'm pet sitting this way. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Awesome, awesome. Okay, cool. Yay. Look at us go. Yay. Okay, now let's pin this back up and work on the other row. Pull up the colors on my phone. Nothing to do with your old issue, though. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. That's... Hello, Miss Joyce. How you doing? Okay, I need an orange. And then a red. And then an orange. Then a red. And then a yellow. And then a green. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Don't get too distracted. Going farther than the song than you're grabbing. Then a yellow. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Then a green. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Blue. And purple. Mm -mm. Actually, you know what? So that would be yellow, green, blue, purple, blue, green, blue. Hmm. I think I needed to switch that purple out for a white. I think I did. Because the way I had the design in my head. Okay, it's okay. We'll sew this one and then we'll. We'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. Hi, Giovanna. How you doing? Welcome, welcome to the chat. If you want, tell us where you're at. It's not, it's not serenation day. I'm sorry. I'm just, just happy to get this project on the go. <laughs> yeah, because I want to put two down and make it three. And the, I don't know. We'll figure it out. You do fine. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Make sure I got the white side up. I would hang it on a wall as it is so extraordinary that I wouldn't. I wouldn't use it either. It's just going to be a wall hanging for sure. I mean, all the work I put in. <laughs> Nobody better be cuddling with that. <laughs> and I don't really want to quilt it to death either. You know what I mean? Just to make sure it stayed all together. You know, that's why I thought if I put a backing behind it, right, like a white backing, it might be nice as a curtain, right? So, a bright rainbowy curtain. I did think that, but that's a lot of stitching in the ditch there, Miss Ellie. That's that's like a lot for each block. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. It's a lot. Hence, hence the dilemma. How do you quilt the quilt? <laughs> 
I did two scrappy blocks last night. Nice, very nice. What were they um, squares or what were you using? Just uh, oh, Gwenny is worried that it will fade if you use it. In, oh, hmm. I didn't think of that. What if? What if I got the glass that was? Hey, Sharon. I'm not sure why you attracted your message. I missed that there. Um, not only in between the blocks. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Just between. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like down all, like, like all of it. All of it stitching in the ditch. <laughs> like, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Scraps and blue tones. Very nice. Very nice. My favorites. I got lots of blues and greens around here. Mm-hmm. In fact, we were using up some of my beautiful stash by doing that other quilt project behind me. The uh, Rail Friends with the Twist. That was so much fun. Uh, okay, thank you. Joints that are called facet joints are joints of the vertebra columns that are classified as joints of the vertebra aches. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's the way it is. <clears throat> Trust me, Tracy. It is. It's that's the way I have it laid out. See, I won't lie to you. See, I go. It's right here. It's the orange fuchsia, orange fuchsia, because of the way I have it laid out as a big V. Do you see that there? And then I'm taking like a purple from here and a purple from here, and I'm bringing them down here. So I'm making the big like the V. No, 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 no. I'd rather clarify <clears throat> that I haven't made a mistake. Okay, so no, no, don't, no, no, don't, don't worry about it. I don't mind explaining. I knew I was going to have to. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's because I'm not following their pattern on the layout. I'm making my own. I, I knew I'd, I'd, I'd run into questions, so it's okay. Uh, I would, okay, that would be like sewing blocks together for a second time to stitch in the ditch. <laughs> I know, right? Exactly, Deborah. <laughs> Especially for all those, you know, 48, we had 48 pieces, right? So, oops, I got, I got sidetracked here. 48 pieces per, per block. You're like, ugh. So. No, it's because of the way it's laid out. It's got a nice big V to the shape of the peacock of color. Like all the oranges and the reds are all up at the top and all the greens and the blues and the stuff are all at the bottom. So, But hopefully in a nice, pleasing manner. That's what I'm going for. Well, for Christmas, I made a gift, 100 small scrappy trees. Oh, that sounds nice. 100 small scrappy trees. Sounds scrappalicious. All right, let's do yellow. And then we'll sew these together. I just, I just didn't think you were at the middle. Well, as it's coming down, as I, I am, yeah. Because I'm doing it on the angles, right? Well, you have to do it one way or the other. I just decided to go from right to left instead of left to right. Okay, all right, now let's um, let's sew those, okay? And then we'll come back and pin these and sew those, okay? <clears throat> I bet, I bet, good for you. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, it's like a small forest of happy trees, I know, right? Scrappy, ha oh, I thought, I thought you said happy trees, but scrap, I'd say scrappy happy trees. <laughs> like the Bob Ross, we got some scrappy happy trees here. Yeah, maybe the physiotherapy will help too, or maybe you have to go back under for some surgery to get things sorted. I think Canadian geese flying information. 
I like your lace. Oh, yeah. Perfect description. And I only have the temperature set to 60 in here. So, because I'm, I'm quite comfortable between 60 and 62 Fahrenheit. So, just because I'm always in here with a sweater. So, I like a sweater. I'm a sweater person. I'd prefer to be in a sweater than just a t-shirt. I don't know why. I just feel more comfortable. I'd rather have a t-shirt and a sweater on than just hang out in a t-shirt. Yeah, that would have been nice. Planted the trees as well. We planted some trees last year. <clears throat> 18 fruit trees. Mother's Day weekend. Boy, were we exhausted. <laughs> yes, exactly. Give you hugs all day. Uh, LL, well, you will definitely have to quilt at least channels in the quilt for the rods to go in to make your mighty grots. <laughs> yeah. I said, I talked to Marcus about who oh, I was going to wire it all up and maybe put some lights through some channels, like, you know, some LED lights and got my own uh, Mardi Gras peacock feather. <laughs> I'm ready to party. <laughs> I'm like, I got this. I got this. In my mind, I'm all set. <laughs> I'm ready to strut my stuff, baby. I'm home. I'm <laughs> strut it. Alright, so. I was like, how festive is that, right? Like, come on, we could do that. Hello, sweetheart creations. Welcome to the chat. That is freezing to me. Oh, the 60? The 60 uh, Fahrenheit? Really? Well, I'm Canadian. <laughs> you could say I'm cold hearted. Starts from the inside, you know, eh? Not to be cold heart. <laughs> Use hula hoops. Hey, now you're thinking. Okay, you know, you guys are just going to hire, I'm going to hire you to come down and we'll just make this big, huge <laughs> Mardi Gras. <laughs> yeah, she can tell this. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> totally would. <laughs> well, I got my sweater on. This is my sweater. Looks like it's wearing out where I rub up against my desk, though. Hula hoops. That's a good idea. I was just going to use thin PVC pipe, but hula hoops works good too. I had a plan. I know. <laughs> Make me a peacock hat. <laughs> there is a chicken hat out there. <laughs> Can't have your mind those isn't cold. But I do understand though. I don't like cold fingers either. I don't like cold fingers. Okay, so we'll sew that little rack together and then we'll attach it to this one and then we'll stick it up there. That wrapping stuff Gwenny showed us. Oh yeah. Well that would be in the handle. Uh, yeah. It wouldn't hold up the, it would add stability across though. Definitely would it cross. Yeah. The nose is the, I, I thought it was your head. I thought your head was the most, uh, was where you lost your, most of your heat. That's why I usually, I don't want to wear my little toque in here sometimes too when I'm trying to get the place warmed up in the morning. So. I always thought it was your head. Yeah. 
I need I need rib as well it's in those clown noses, right? <laughs> now they're gonna go out of like go out of stock. Everybody's gonna be <laughs> My she giver has been activated half a hoop uh skirt frame. There you go. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> Oops, one more. Yes, I've done that many, many times. Or I put him on pop, but he doesn't like that. <laughs> but there are times my hands have been so cold, I'm like, you have to warm them up. I cannot warm up my hands. I've been hugging this cup of tea, and they're still not warming up. He's like, <laughs> so I stick them under his armpit. <laughs> or like, you know, like right here, like under the armpit. <laughs> Hey, they warm up faster that way. Let me tell you, if you put cold toes on a warm man's leg on an, in the middle of the night, you're going to get yourself kicked. <laughs> I have learned. <laughs> cold toes, no go. <laughs> Not happening. So I have to ask about, can I put my hands on you when they're cold? Because he's always so warm. He's got to mentally prepare himself for such an ex ex extreme temperature situation. It, the, and worse when the nose is cold, the virus and bacteria are having a blast getting you sick. Oh, yeah, I bet. Hello, Miss Karen Little. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Jenny's got to go. I have one more border to get sewn on the top and I top and I have the dressing quilt together. See y'all like very nice Jenny. High five, girlfriend. High five. You got this. Got this. You go get him, Jenny. I do that to my hubby all the time. He doesn't mind. What, the cold toes? Oh yeah, no, dad no. That's a no no for Pop. No, no. Because then I end up making him cold sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, Miss Connie Joe. How you doing? <clears throat> we can give you a Yahoo for that. A Yahoo? You mean uh, the Dresden for Jenny? A Yahoo for Jenny? Sure. Yahoo! <laughs> All right, let's see if I didn't sew these upside down. No, I didn't. Woo, woo. Okay. Let's press. Such a pressing mama. Actually, that should have been probably a square at the bottom of that one. Whoopsies. Uh, should that have been a square? No, I don't think. No, 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 not for another row or two. Okay. I don't think so. Okay, so that will go. I needed a white one here. That's okay. I'll take that one off. Okay. She has the double contraption. What's going on? A long time, Giovanna. <laughs> it takes about an hour for each block. That's not including like the probably five hours of cutting and so on and so forth. And yeah, yeah, that's a lot. That was a lot. Seamipper, seamipper, you're my best friend. Seamipper, seamipper, wait to the very end. It, 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 this uh, has taken a year and a half of not completely dedicated time, but there's 48 pieces per, per block. Okay. So, I oh, don't even can see them here. Hold on. Here's the... So that, there's the block. So, a lot, 
a lot, a lot. A lot of time. But a lot of love, too. So that's what matters. Here and here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, about an hour. About an hour. I think I got it down to 48 minutes one day, but I was like, tch, tch, tch. I had already been working on like four or five by that point in time, and it was like, tch, tch, do, do, tch, tch, do, do, you know, because it was it's foundation paper piecing, right? So, yeah. So I try and do, uh, yeah, no, not a chance. Um, Try to, I tried to do two a week for a while there. If I could just get two done, take an afternoon on this or that. So, um, yeah. And I just, I just, and then I said to myself, before New Year's, have all the blocks done. At least have, because you cut all the fabric, you, you have, you have it to finish. You know, it's going to look so beautiful when it's done. And instead of just keeping constantly trying to pick up the project, move it over here, pick up the project, move it over there, pick up the project, move it over there. It was like, okay, let's, let's just, let's just work on it. Let's get it done. We need to finish it, get it off our list. There's other things we want to do. And I, I, I have a, like UFOs that I, I need to do. And this was definitely one of the more elaborate ones to try and finish for sure. But we all got those, right? It was so time consuming that you lost interest. I, it was more like, yeah, maybe I did. Like, I, I still wanted to do it. It just, it just seemed like if you're going to tuck into it, you might as well tuck into it like for a day and a half, right? You know, because you have all the pieces out. You're already making such a huge mess already, right? With everything. So, <clears throat> so in the end, I tried to get, the color part done and then worked on the black and white at another time because then I wasn't mixing all the colors everywhere. In fact, I got a bag around here with all the scraps in it. I don't know where it went, but it's a big one. I have an art project idea for it. It just, uh, it's going to take some time because it involves some epoxy. Yeah, I was working on my procrastinating skills. Yeah, but I have to say, Miss Sassalette uh, it really helps motivate people when they don't really want to do something. But they know they have to do it. Why did you buy it in the first place, right? So, and I do plan to do the other projects. Like, people were asking, was I, were I making all the rainbow blocks and then still making this? Well, I, I could have done all these blocks and all these blocks and had both of these projects put together in the time it's taken me to do this one. So... <laughs> and I wouldn't know how to lay it out in such a way for all of my colors to fit in here, right? Because they need like almost three times the amount of feathers here, right? So, but yeah, yeah, good job. Thank you. <laughs> High five. <laughs> High five. <laughs> and you have to, you know, be kick in your own pants. You know what I mean? Motivate yourself to get it done. I want it done. I want to see it done. I want to be able to say, I look what I finished, right? Yeah. It was what, this is one of my most complicated projects I've ever taken on in my life. And I don't want to say it won. I won, right? Hey Irish, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Oh yeah. <laughs> Who's getting the bill for this project? Hmm. Hey pop. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. It's my fault. Not your fault. My, my desire to do it, finish it up, right? So. And I do understand, like, some projects are going to take a long time. I get that. I didn't realize how long this was going to take because I had never touched anything like this before, so. It is a lot of paper piecing, let me tell you, Suzanne. But I think if I were to do it next time, I'm going to do the freezer paper trick uh because miss alice sent me a mondo box like last year sometime or did you bring it with you did you bring it with you did you send it i don't remember but it was around the same time 
And I've got a whole box of that I could use up and, and uh, use, uh, I guess or use up, because I, I don't think I could ever use it all up, uh, to do it like that. And then I wouldn't have to worry about the paper. So, Oh, peace of love quilting. What's going on with you today? Okay, so let's do this and then do this. And then when we go over here, and I will show you yours. There. Does that look okay? I can't see. <laughs> <clears throat> it's getting there, baby. It's getting there. Uh, take care, Miss Lynn. Take care. Word because of hubby? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, yeah. No. This side? Oh, yeah. Right there. The top one. You're right. Thank you. I knew I needed it. I just didn't grab it. Aw, oh, thank you, Irish. Appreciate it. I really do. <laughs> it's a labor of love. Do 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 do. Could have had a baby sooner. Do do do. <laughs> this project. Could have had two babies before this project happened. Hubby <laughs> <coughs> well, had chest pain yesterday and was. Oh no, that's not good. Oh my goodness. Hey, Leticia. Happy to see you here. Making hallium burgers and sweet potato fries tonight. Oh, yeah. See you tomorrow. You betcha. That sounds delicious. Mailman dogs barking. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, there we go. There's our top part. Let's press it and then we'll work on the next row. Oh, yeah. That's going to look so good. <coughs> it feels like Saturday. I know. Pop's going to be like, tomorrow, didn't we just do this yesterday? <laughs> like, yes, we did. Rinse, repeat. <laughs> okay, next. Um... Now it is. Hold on. What is that? Orange, 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 red, yellow. Okay, so. Three oranges, or four oranges. One, two, three, four. Then a red, a yellow, green, blue. What's our next set? <clears throat> For National QOV Soda. Oh! Quilt of Valor Soda. Is that at your local guild going on there, Miss uh, Donna Faye? Thanks, Joyce. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, okay, I'm gonna need a couple of whites on the end of that one. So, and here, and here. Uh, not till, uh, Pop literally just got home. So we were gonna talk about it tonight and we'll give you all a date tomorrow. Okay. Oops. We said we would let everybody know when Pop got home and he, he literally, I just, I just got him this morning. So <clears throat> we had enough time to have lunch with Marcus and then come out here and, and, do, and do stream. So I was trying to get it so we could all have a lunch together. And then my new papa's gonna go lay down because he was super duper tired. He's been up since like four in the morning his time. So and he's had a lot of it wasn't a, it was a very stressful trip. Let's put it that way. It was rough. It was a rough trip. There, back, and in between. Okay. And the last thing I want to do is go. Let's start pestering him. Alright, because we've got a couple of weights on the bottom corner here, and then we got to start adding our color. I thought we had a link to this somewhere. Maybe it, is it exclamation peacock or is it? I thought this might, might have given you a link to the website. Could one of the mods try that maybe? See if exclamation peacock works. they have time mm. yeah okay there it is thank you miss Helene, miss Gwenny. appreciate that I wasn't sure if it was gonna come up at all if, if it was it might it might have been just for the mod so haha <laughs> thank you very much ladies and miss Sylvia for trying I wasn't sure if yours came up too so <clears throat> I wasn't sure if it was gonna be one or the other I don't know how some of this works you know I just hang out here with two people you guys are cool I like it here yeah, so if you were interested in this, I, we, we're not being sponsored by them or nothing. This just happens to be something I picked up in 2017 and just wanted to wanted to conquer. I was gifted a huge box of fat quarters of rainbow colored devices in this botanicals. And I just was like, I think I found the perfect project for this, you know, so... That was another one. <laughs> Isn't it? It's all good. Okay, make sure it was the, the orange, 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 red, yellow, green, blue, purple. Two whites. Okay. Thank you. Kachoopers? Kachoopers. <laughs> what language is that, Allison? <laughs> <laughs> crowd is too heavy for me. <laughs> oh, well, I'm hoping we can distract you, my dear. And, and hopefully it's it's something just minor, you know. Nothing to, nothing to worry about. But I do understand that feeling. I had, Pop asked me to take him to the hospital. And was it 21? I think it was, yeah. And he... he this is a guy that, you know, would, you know, not ask you to take him to the hospital, right? So. So hopefully it does turn into be nothing, nothing. Well, hello there, Quilt and Stephanie Stitches. Can we all get a little clappity clap and a high fivesies in the chatsy chats? Because Miss Quilting... Quilting with Stephanie Stitches reached over 10,000 subscribers to her YouTube channel. And she's got a giveaway tomorrow, but you had to have watched yesterday's video to understand how you get yourself in. So go check out that video and then go join her tomorrow too, okay? So please do. <laughs> I was like, woo! I was so happy for you. Trust me, I know those 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 hurdles, <laughs> and they're just so beautifully feeling the love of monumental. You know what I mean? It's just it's so. We the quilting community is such a special, loving, giving community. 
It's, it's think it's different than any other community out there. It's because we make things to give to people. We don't just make things for ourselves all the time, right? Majority of the time we're making them for somebody else. Baby quilt, wedding quilt, whatever quilt, you know, heirloom quilts, all those sorts of things. We end up making them and then giving them. So we're just such a, a lovey, a lovey group. I feel we are anyways. Sisters from other misters and brothers from other mothers. Ah, it's amazing. It, it's truly, truly amazing. It, is, it has changed my life in the past, oh, I guess uh, almost seven years. Next month it'll be seven years that we, we started YouTube. That was 16, 2016, so. And you can all talk to Pop about that. Not me. <laughs> I just showed up. <laughs> Yeah, you, you guys are amazing, helping everybody out and, you know, it's, it's, it's good love and good hugs. So. All right, just trying to pin some of these together so we can add another row. Okay, I gotta refresh my chat. It seems to be disappearing again. Hold on. <laughs> I don't get this. I don't get how it does this. This word. Word words. I was showing off pictures I had. My, my sister Elizabeth sent me a bunch of pictures from my, my mom's stop. She, she, she passed away in 2022, or 2020. Um, so I got some of the pictures um, all, all sent to me. And it was like for me as a kid and my like grade nine graduation and when Marcus was a baby. So some really nice photos in there. My mom, I got some nice photos of my mom. So I showed, showed my baby, my kid lit pictures to the chat already. <laughs> so full now? Hope I don't fall asleep while watching. You got full belly syndrome. Belly full, eyes closed. It's not a pro bad problem to have though. <laughs> I found out lately I wasn't I wasn't going to bed because I was tired. I was going to bed because I was bored. So then I don't end up being tired, right? I'm not. Well, I got terrible news. They got me loaded, so unfortunately I'll have to go back to work. All right, safe travels, Mr. Mike. Safe travels. Hands on the wheel. Yeah, exactly, don't work too hard. <laughs> uh-oh, what did I miss from Allison's? Uh-oh, uh -oh. Mr. Cover. Sorry, it must have been while I was trying to readjust my chat. Enjoys the road. Enjoys the road trip. Stopped at a chip and chip a chip shop. Uh, what's everyone's order? Ooh, well, heck, well. <laughs> I'll take some chippies for sure. I love chippies. Nice thick chip, crispy chip. A mashed potato on the inside. Yes, please. Poutine. <laughs> I'm not sure if they have that in the UK there, Tracy Wick. <laughs> I'm not sure if they got the poutine over there yet. <laughs> Sausage and chips with curry. Oh, yes, that sounds just like it. Sylvia knows. <laughs> I nodded and woke up right in time. My sinuses are doing it to me. Oh. Maybe allergy medicine, or is it just like a uh, or something? Get her to try, no, right? 
They just might like something. You could be teaching them something new. Be like, poutine? What do you mean by poutine? And you go, hey, you add a little gravy and some cheese curds. You're like, cheese curds? All right, and down to the deli and get me some cheese curds. <laughs> We're trying this Canadian poutine over here. <laughs> but they'd probably say poutine. <laughs> Poutine all the way. I'm still fell after my dinner a couple hours ago. That's like, that was me uh, after having some Chinese food last night. I had like one chicken ball, one rib, and like five mouthfuls of rice and some chow mein, and I'm, I'm like, I'm done. I'm like, I got breakfast tomorrow and lunch, but I knew we were stopping in Truro, halfway between here and the airport, um, to grab lunch on the way back. We got there just as it opened. We only had two minutes to wait. It was good. It was really good. I uh, tried something new this time. Spider roll, which was soft shell crab. It had an interesting little mayo thing sauce on it. So I only had two. There was like eight of them, but I, I only had two. So I think the boys could have three each and I could have two. So. Um, what else did... Oh, we got a sashimi uh, section. So we had lots of had tuna, uh, eel, um, salmon, two, two, two types of tuna, white tuna tuna or something like that, something else. I don't mind them. I like them. I like, I like the soft shell crabs. So, I like the shrimp too. And then we just got cut with some, like a, a mixed mackie um, set or combination or something like that. So, and then we had, oh, deep fried scallops, but Pop ate those on the way home because he didn't have breakfast. So that was his lunch on the, coming home from the, from, from Turo. Or breakfast, sorry. Just gonna go. Alright, let's put these two together and then we'll add them. <laughs> Munch tomorrow. Well, there's only a few. I actually, I thought, I didn't think we ordered enough. It's kind of expensive, but I didn't think we ordered enough. But actually, there was leftover bits. So I was like, oh, nice. So, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I had two toasted toasties with fried eggs and, and some smoked fish. Oh, nice. Salmon, or sorry, smoked fish and fried eggs. Yum, that does sound tasty. Yeah, you can make your own cheese curds, yeah. Or, or a good substitute is uh, sh sh like a shredded or chunked up mozzarella I'd more chunk it like I'd chunk it with a fork or something or so you get all the little thick pieces and little pieces and then the hot gravy melts it with your french fries and then it gets all up over your face and in your pie hole and it's so good <laughs> In fact, I made that for Munchkin and I for one of the dinners. Smoked mackerel, mm, yum yum. Do a full for two days. Well, I said next, pop next time we'll we'll stop and have the all you can eat buffet, sort of not buffet, but the whole you know the all you can eat stuff because he he would he would totally tuck into that. Um, I I never eat the my my full cost when it comes to uh, an all you can eat, but that's okay. I like what I can get whatever I want though. So. All right, let's do pressing of these and then we will sew the row together. You have to be careful not to pull it too much, right? So, or tweak it too much. Okay, so let's get these two sewn. Pinned and so on. But making cookies. Miss Gwenny was making cookies earlier. That does sound good. I did pick up some chocolate chips the other day, so I clearly was had the making of cookies in my mind. So Maybe because I was just so happy Pop was coming home. I was going to make cookies tomorrow. <laughs> okay. All right. 
Sure, let's get those two bits sewn together. You need all the mega. <laughs> Well, so, so some people just don't like seafood and can't imagine even eating raw seafood. So, you know, but if it's prepared right, there's no issues, right? <laughs> you deleted something so fast. <laughs> I didn't even see what it is. <laughs> I can't see it either, so. <laughs> Now, now inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> what you got going on there? <laughs> She's probably saying bad words. She's trying to teach me bad words on the side. <laughs> like fr fr friend ends. Friend ends. <laughs> we go. Nice. Looking so good. It's looking so good. I need some more water. All right. Now, can the other put it there? No, 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 no. We need, hold on. Red, 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 three reds. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, six reds in a row. Will you have blocks of... No, I will not. In fact, I'm using white spacers here to come down to the V. In fact, I think I have to take that one out and put it down here. So that's why I'm not sewing those rows together yet because I need to sort it out my mind first. So... Um. Six. Okay, perfect. That's the last of them. Okay, and a triangle for the top. Really, Sophie? She's got the sniffers and the sneezers. Bless you, bless you. Bless you. <laughs> Need more thumbs up? Do we? <laughs> I heard those don't do anything. Neither do the comments. So, I don't know. It's like, who do you believe, right? I say there should be a love button. You know what I mean? Should only be a like and a love button. You like it, you like it. Perfect, great. If you love it, then love it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> then love it. Love it with all your might. Love it out of sight. Gravy is like the, one of the main parts of the whole poutine there, Lily, for sure. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. The gravy. It's usually like a chicken gravy. It's usually made from chicken, chicken drip, drippings and stuff. <laughs> I 
I got Linda Denton's love. <laughs> so many choices. So little time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's so delicious. It really is. It's actually one of one of Munchkin's favorite foods. And I let, did it with the leftover roast from Saturday. Yeah, Saturday I put a slow uh, roast on for slow cook. That's right. So that was already sorted, and we had that on toast, not toast, just bread. So open face sandwich, I guess. Yeah, it was really delicious. So the leftover meat and gravy, um, I turned into poutine Wednesday night. Tuesday night? Tuesday night or Wednesday night? I don't remember which night it was, but I made, I made poutine. Hello, Rita. How's Montana? Besides, big snow coming your way, I hear. <laughs> no, Mr. Mike. No. <laughs> that did not happen. Funny, but no. <laughs> Can't wait to get this floor until I got such a little rut in this side of the... Uh, it's okay. Baby steps, we'll get there if we just take baby steps. Oh, that's interesting. Put that up. Talking about food made me hungry. <laughs> it's Chinese for sure. <laughs> I was craving the like the fried rice and I don't know, just like I don't know. And I wanted somebody else to cook yesterday, and I didn't mind going to get it because we they, they don't deliver out here, so. So went all the way into Bassville. He knows where I went. Went right across the street from Barb's restaurant. So the the Lin's Chinese food place. That's where I went. I know, right? <laughs> You're like never even seen these before in my life, and now I can't not see them, right? <laughs> yeah, I know you were so happy when you like you got cheese curds. <laughs> I, can't, I didn't think they would be that hard to find. I mean, there is a poem, you know, Little Miss Muffet sat in her tuff and eating her curds and whey. So they had to be, there has to be cheese curds out there. I mean, they can't be just a Canadian thing. So. Hello, Jill. How you doing? So late this evening. Oh, hi. Well, welcome here. Happy, happy, happy here. We're just, we're putting, we're putting it together. She's, she's looking good. She's looking good. Loving it. We have cheese curds here in Ohio. Yeah, yeah, but no poutine. Well, uh, poutine, the whole combination of the fries, the gravy, and the cheese curd is the poutine, right? So if you got fries, you got gravy, and you got cheese curds, boom, you got poutine, right? Hello, bees. Uh, you guys are still yippee. I'm really like, that's okay. No worries. No worries. Just working away at her peacock quilts. Staying out of trouble. I've already been to the airport and back today. <laughs> well, you know, uh, it's the squeezing of the, the, the cheese uh, that makes it all... Um, yeah, there's a process. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to say something wrong, so. Okay, now, now we got that one, two, three, four, five, six. And then, do, 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 we need to get the other colors. Okay. 
photo. Uh, hold on, where's my photos? Where's my photos? There we are. Okay, so oop, another one. An uh, orange, green, blue, purple. Orange, green, orange, not yellow. Yes, orange. Orange, green, blue, purple. And then at least one, two, three, maybe two. Let's do two. Let's see how it lines up. Meat sauce on fries. There you go. That's fine by me. That's kind of what we had was the roast beef was all mixed in with the gravy. So I guess it was like a meaty protein. <laughs> yeah. Made your birthday tomorrow. Uh oh, which one, Jill? Which one? 60. Oh, geez, that's nothing. That's nothing. I thought you were talking like, you know, like 100 or something. Like, that's a major birthday. I can't wait to get 100 and still kicking around. Kicking the trees to wake up the squirrels. You betcha I will be. Hello, Kelly Cruz, Crafts and Quilts. Hi, I was working all morning. Client calling at 1 in the mo What? Oh, oh, in an hour. Sorry. I thought you said 1 in the morning. I was like, what? What are they calling you 1 in the morning for? Very nice. Yeah, how many people do you Well, we're all invited because she's going to come hang out here maybe. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not 51 in my head either, so. My body tells me otherwise. <laughs> Sad. Sad but true. Sixteen November, still young. She's coming up here, coming to Quilt Canada in Halifax. We're gonna hang out. At least that's what I'm assuming. I'll just maybe just follow around and stalk her a little bit. But we're hanging out, <laughs> whether it's me from afar following her <laughs> somehow. <laughs> I promise not to be so stockish. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. <laughs> she turns, whips her head around, like, look at the tree. <laughs> I wasn't following you. <laughs> Can I have your autograph? <laughs> hey, Lena, how you doing? There's nothing better than homemade French fries. And they taste even better if you can double fry them too. So, for sure. Double fried french fries. They be the best. <laughs> There's some places that just have like the best gravy, right? The best. Mm, and to get squeaky cheese, leave at room temperature for several hours before consuming. Yeah, you gotta squeak. You gotta like make noise in your mouth. Exactly it. I remember the first time I was recognized at a quilt Canada. It was the one. It was the, for the Ronald McDonald House. So we were, you were handing in all the quilt tops that you did, and I had like I don't know, twenty five or fifty quilt tops, all two pieces of luggage, all huge, and. I was signed up for some long arming classes. I can't remember the, the artist who was the long armer. Oh, sorry. 
I'd never heard of her before, so it's it's okay. Not everybody knows everybody. So, anyways, I did enjoy my my my, my two day course there. But as I had gotten there the first time, I was a little late because the weather was absolutely horrid. So I just went and asked the front counter and I said, hey, uh, can you tell me where such and such was? And as I, there was two, two or three people standing a little bit away from me. And I heard, Laura Lynn, Mama Pop. And I just kind of whipped my head around and I'd only been on YouTube for maybe a year and a half by that time, maybe something like that. So I was totally flabbergasted. Somebody even knew who I was. And then uh, we actually, she actually ended up being in my class. Uh, with, so we ended up being partners and sharing our long arm together. Uh, her name is Pat Bell. And uh, we had a fantastic, I met her and her sister and her, and, and her friend. And, and, her, and then later, uh, Pop and I went again just to go see the, the, the quilt, whatever was going on there. And we met them and had like lunch and it was a good time. So but that was so weird to, for somebody to recognize me. So there I was like, wait a second. <laughs> I'm a little weirded out. This is kind of freaky. <laughs> oh, you probably did. <laughs> okay, I think I got this row together. Let's see. Let's see first. Oh, she's going to be big. In Okay, I said to pop maybe two, two and a half hours for today. So we, we're not going to get this finished today, but we will finish it, I promise. But at least she can really see what she's looking like. Okay. Yeah, and because I'm changing the design of this too, it's actually making it bigger. So I'm making it much bigger. Just a little. Uh, the first for me was at a quilt show and a lady pointed at me and said, it's you. <laughs> I had to figure out <laughs> to ask her who she <laughs> was. <laughs> it was cute. Well, I mean, it's a little flabbergasted because you don't know. And especially when it's somebody behind you and they're like calling, you're like, Laura Lynn! And they're like so shocked because they heard me talk to the lady to ask where this room is. Because I, I was already running late. I was already like a little anxiety about being around all these people and stuff like that. So I just needed just complete directions of where am I going? Where, just tell me where I'm going, right? So, yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. I remember the little piece that we were working on fabric wise, she made me sign it because she wanted to take it home. <laughs> I'm like, you sure you want me to sign this? She goes, yeah, your work and my work. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I was honored. Oh, look at that. Can you see the design now? Can you see how it's coming into play? That's looking good. It's gonna look so good. And then we got the yellows, and then the greens and the purples. So it's gonna get there, people. It's gonna get there. <laughs> look, we're, we're, we only have this many left. <laughs> thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. I was a little nervous how it's gonna look. I may, I think I have to remove this guy and tuck him over here, or it's, one lower and tuck them lower. I'm not sure. I got to I got to fiddle and battle. So, because it's hard just to take a picture of it and then kind of sort it all in your mind with all the whites and stuff. No, it's all fine, Sylvia. It's all good. Honest. <laughs> Here, let me show you guys again. There you go. Make sure, yes it is, all good, all good. Well, I don't know, it's just stitched on a quilt. It's like blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's like I didn't even know what the heck to do. <laughs> I should, I should. 
No, no, it's okay. It's okay not to worry. I knew people were going to ask questions. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> the only, it's, I only signed the quill. I wasn't signing no papers. <laughs> Anybody have any questions? Anybody have any questions? It's going to look amazing. I'm so excited to actually be at this point in the project. I really am. So exclamation peacock. If you wanted to get a link to where you could probably purchase this um, pattern yourself. Uh, we're not um, sponsored by them in any way. It's just a project I had in my UFO list. And happy to share the process. Not easy and not hard just time consuming to get yourself there okay so shows you how to put all three projects together and in the best manner and like i said in this one it had lots of blacks and grays and browns and i just wanted to stay with the rainbow color and i didn't it's not saying i didn't like that layout there because that's a nice layout and then there's that layout too that they had. So they had kind of color going across the top and then color going across the middle and then the other one was going, going down the side. So you really can do whatever you like with it. I have to kill two hours more before bedtime. What to do? <laughs> can we please get a close up on the quilt, please? Oh, the one behind? Oh, let me see if I can zoom the camera in. I don't know. It's going to look, I, I'm just so excited for it, right? And, uh, you know, the the color layout of how you they wanted you to do the blocks was different too. They wanted the tones and tones and so on and so forth. I just put whatever color I wanted to put on in regards to the blues or the greens or the reds or the whatever. I had to mix the red and the pinks together because it was going to be too many if I included the pink as 12 colors, like 12 blocks of the pink, right? So, and it didn't, I don't think I had enough of the fabrics to do that with. Because the fabric box here it is. So I have all these left. There wasn't a lot of pinks to go with. So I have all this still to make projects with. I've got purples and grays and browns and tans and light grays and t creams. And then I've got a bunch of these still all ready to, I got a box of blues and stuff. So, you know, keep me out of trouble. Until we meet again tomorrow, same time, same bad channel. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's just, like I say, labor of love, but you have to, to finish it. You start it, you got to finish, right? Okay, take care. Have fun, Miss Kelly Cruises. She's going to have lunch and it's like 4.15 for me. <laughs> it's almost dinner time. <laughs> hmm. All right, we will see you all tomorrow. Same bad time, same bad channel. Okay, so 1 p.m. Eastern, Saturdays. We don't normally stream on Fridays, but if... People are going to, we might stream on Fridays, just do a UFO project or something. I don't know. Talk to, talk to Pop about it. It was lovely to have everybody here. Thank you very much for showing up and hanging out and spending your time with me. We greatly appreciate you here. And we will see you tomorrow. Okay. Have fun. See you soon. Later potatoes.